Hi, dear friends and colleagues, students, scholars. Uh, in this presentation, actually, I will discuss some points related to the open scholarship and how the Indian government is contributing towards that. But before that, uh, there are some important points that we have to understand being a scholar, being a part of a scholarly community. A uh, title of this presentation is Open Scholarship Need of Knowledge Society. Now, for the research community, uh, communities, what are the challenges they are facing and what are the solutions? So, this is the title and uh, I will discuss basically all these points near about to the open scholarship. I have presented this uh, material actually in the 122 second uh, uh, faculty uh, induction program or 128. It was 128th uh, faculty induction program that was organized by the Punjab University. My name is Dr. Susil Kumar and uh, I am working in Chitkara University. I have some exposure of the research publications. So I deeply studied uh, all those things being a regular uh, research scholars. Uh, I have basically uh, some uh, you can say the experiences of the publication. So those some ideas, points I am discussing here actually and uh, I hope uh, it will be useful for all. So let's start. Uh, how basically you define the scholarship? What do you think about to the open scholarship? So here actually open scholarship per, uh, covers uh, five domains mainly one is related to the open access journals second is open educational resources open sciences open infrastructure open data so this presentation actually in the perspective of indian scholars so how the indian government basically are working towards the open scholarship so what are the efforts are going on from the government side? So as the definition, uh, some people define it to open scholarship is the practice of applying principles of openness throughout the research and scholarly environment. So these are two segments where open scholarship basically one object, uh, one is related only to the research environment and second one is related to the uh, a scholarly environment that you can say to the academic one, educational point of view. So most of the people are aware about to the open access journals or talk about to the open access. How Indian government basically is working towards that and what is the reflection, how basically the Indian research scholars are following that, uh, what are the challenges to them and uh, what the solution basically the Indian government providing uh, by their policies to them. One part. Second thing is how the Indian government basically contributing or initiating towards the open educational resources and how the Indian academician, those who are connected to the educational system are providing uh, the solutions and what they what type of challenges they are facing similarly to the open science uh, open science and open data are with question marks while open infrastructure so many of you actually are aware that if in your institution or university college a research facility are not available so that time basically you can uh, take the uh, services from the other institutions, right? So how basically government has taken the initiative in this direction in recent years. So uh, red points basically indicate that most of the scholars are not aware about to the open science and open data. If they are aware, so they hesitate to share it on any platform. So what are those points? I will try to cover all these here. Number one, 
open access journals how the indian government basically uh, had taken the initiative in this direction and uh, this is basically now from april 2023 uh, there will be one nation one subscription model of the journals so first of all it is uh, for the uh, government institutions and affiliated institutions so that that they can basically access the uh, research articles of uh, the journal which basically are heavily uh, you mean um, i mean to say that uh, their subscription charges is so much so now the government uh, basically uh, you can say the pay and uh, with the help of the other institutions and uh, then uh, the scholars basically uh, then the scholar basically can read studied uh, those research from that platform how basically it will manage um, i think it will manage uh, by the inflibnet gandhinagar uh, so uh, that will remain a point of it uh, next uh, point will come about to the private institutions and the small colleges basically how they will approach it and how it will spread that will be a different uh, uh, strategy of the government so how they will implement it uh, it will be uh, it will depends on uh, them and how much time it will take uh, i don't know so i one thing is there that uh, all the government uh, institutions basically uh, now they uh, are following this uh, model one is and one subscriptions if you want to know more about to it you can see the link which is given below second thing is about uh, the efforts made by the indian government uh, towards the open educational resources uh, we are aware about to the moocs courses and uh, how the uh, nptl basically had started uh, this effort from the beginning and then after other uh, institutions and now uh, we have enough material where the students basically can get uh, uh, information about to the any subject uh, that, whether that comes into the AICT side or CEC side that means uh, for the postgraduate students uh, in the uh, pure sciences uh, like physics chemistry math biology uh, uh, like this this kind of subject and uh, igno basically providing uh, similarly the courses they run uh, the uh, skill based courses and other and uh, imb also ncrt nius ni triple t uh, for the uh, teachers for the academician uh, some fdp type uh, courses and ptl is very well known for the engineering courses and so humanities and uh, ugc basically focused on the uh, uh, graduate and postgraduate courses so by this way actually indian government is supporting and uh, in these last e some years basically uh, this kind of uh, activities grown drastically and now people are using all these uh, platforms so swam basically is a program that was initiated by the government uh, uh, of india and now it is a successful program in the country so now the point is that uh, these are two things one is related to the open access and second is about to the open educational resources and indian government is thinking about to all uh, all these problems and challenges and they are providing a platform in a systematic way uh, third things comes uh, about to the open scientific research infrastructure for an example as i said that uh, in your institution or college that uh, uh, technical facility is not available like uh, xrap emr like like that uh, so uh, then you have to approach to the uh, nearby institution research institutions or the university and uh, there are some basically uh, models and some uh, uh, you can say uh, scheme are uh, there by which actually you can collaborate with the neighbor university institution or research institution like this iSTEM. Everyone uh, knows and uh, the in charge of the iSTEM very uh, through the Facebook, through the social media, LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter. Uh, government basically trying to convey uh, this kind of facility to the researchers. Now this is our responsibility that what is the purpose behind to it. 
so these three uh, this is called the open infrastructure so suppose i have some facility so that facility you can also use right so this facility is open for all to do the research to bring out the knowledge for all and uh, this is the purpose and indian government basically is trying towards that to promote the research to promote the original research quality research and uh, these three segment number one i mentioned open access journal second point was about to the open educational resources this one first one is uh, towards the open access journal one nation one subscription model second is open educational resources and through it you can observe the uh, number of platforms for different sections uh, whether the, those are plus two or plus one student and crt courses or through the open uh, school nios ni triple t are mostly uh, for the technical education to the researchers to the academician like that and uh, cc for uh, postgraduate courses of the sciences and other branch see ugc for all the courses uh, that run by the ugc in different colleges and other one aict for technical courses and uh, skill based courses I am for uh, management courses and statistical uh, related and uh, there are so many things basically which cover through this platform not easy to explain everything every subject uh, so these are three points which basically cover in the open scholarship next point is up, uh, about to the open science so how do you think that we can share the science uh, in the same way like uh, now we are providing the knowledge to each and every person by using the open access journal so when we publish the research article that carries some message about a hidden problem or you trying to bring out uh, suppose uh, any uh, any specific problem right that is the purpose of a such paper and if that paper is accessible you basically providing the knowledge uh, right irrespective to the community that targeted community means suppose you are publishing the research in uh, chemistry subject uh, so it should be open for all those who are interested into the chemistry or the point basically which is useful for the society right so it is not necessary that publication of the research article is for the research community it is made for all the person whether that person is of the uh, society right or belongs to the community so society basically as a layman suppose i am not the person of chemistry but i want to know something about to the research which was basically of my interest and i had started to read this some research article uh, to know about to it so it's basically my right to understand something uh, that is happening around to me so what the open science basically what are the efforts by uh, that uh, open science can do for the uh, society as well as to the community right so how to do research now so we have to keep all the information that included into the research article on uh, with our group or we have to share that idea openly for all that please this is the research idea and come contribute it collaborate with us and together it if there is a problem right in the observation or somewhere to collect the data so are we providing the exact information or are we trying to hide uh, some data observation that basically uh, reflect a known uh, known a uh, traditional approach somewhere what happened that uh, we observe the data basically follow the trend of a research but sometimes what happen in our observation we had observed that some data doesn't follow the trend so at that time what the researchers do are they basically hide that particular data or they try uh, to incorporate the explanation of this behavior into the the train basically which they were studied in their research so that point is uh, uh, that type of points basically are important and uh, it's basically cover many things so here uh, when uh, someone basically define the open science uh, open science 
registering a study trial or report allows for greater transparency and reproducibility to research and allows other to know you are working on a topic so you are transparent uh, not to the community but to the society also because the output of your research will help the community as well as to the society so the knowledge which basically you are trying to bring out from this research article will useful for everyone not only for the that uh, community in by in which you belongs uh, it will be useful to each and every person so open science basically provide that uh, platform right provide that opportunity so knowledge basically can be shared with everyone irrespective to the uh, scientific community by in which basically yeah, by which you belong and where you basically you are performing uh, that type of research next is uh, elements basically what are the open science elements so there are many things basically which covered into the open science like depositing research article in the repository uh, this also support to the open science suppose you are in the uh, uh, in the uh, final stage or you in the beginning uh, to write up the research article and uh, still article is not published or not submitted anywhere and you are submitting it or you had submitted it right in your institutional repository or somewhere in preprint uh, server a second thing it is about to the open access publishing of research articles in open access journals uh, it is uh, easy to understand open access books uh, what basically we are observing right now we are providing uh, the information the knowledge to each and every one uh, the research which we do but we what we are doing on the other side we are bounding the knowledge this knowledge in the books by keeping some uh, price of it uh, otherwise it can uh, you can say that it can be easily available on the internet and one can read it easily so one effort is going towards the open access books also science outreach and uh, communications uh, this is also important uh, as i uh, told you that uh, the research which we are doing is not only for the uh, research community it should be conveyed to the society so the people basically understand what is going on in their surrounding as per their own interest so it should be communicate uh, with the society so, so in a layman language or in terms of the blogging it should be communicate with the society depositing of data in a repository uh, so you are doing some uh, calculation or you had collected some data or observed measured some data in an experiment then uh, you keep it in an organized way structured data basically in an authentic way so that data may be useful to the other people because when you are collecting this data you have some uh, objective in your mind so you collected the data keeping some objective in your mind and the output basically you try to reflect from that data so it is not necessary always some one have a different perspective and then um, by using this data they can analyze something else so by this way the knowledge the information can be extracted from one data uh, which basically is uh, uh, in a organized way uh, uh, that is basically in a structured form so it it will be useful for others also uh, open evaluation research data management plan data sharing open source research software and code uh, pre print uh, of the research article citizen science transdisciplinary research platform open collaborative tools open research proposals crowd source practices these are some elements taken from the european university association what do you mean by the citizen science as per the national geography uh, they, they they define it in, in this way uh, citizen science is the practice of public participation and collaboration in scientific research to increase scientific knowledge right through 
the citizen science people share and contribute to data monitoring and collection programs so citizen science basically is what the information uh, basically we are trying to extract from uh, our research uh, uh, process that should be communicate uh, with the society so at, at least uh, society basically understand about to those points so this comes under the open science and similarly open data now the question is uh, uh, i had started this uh, presentation keeping in mind about the indian perspective and uh, how the indian government basically trying their efforts in this direction in this direction means about to the open scholarship and open scholarship covered majorly five points as i had mentioned open access journals open educational resources open science open data and open infrastructures so uh, what will be the benefit actually if we share the data and uh, here the one word is open data when we use this open data what is that means how basically one can use it uh, so open data means uh, this basically increase the transparency and real uh, verifiability of your research if someone has to verify the research data research results output of the uh, data then they can verify it right they can measure the impact of the research right so on the other hand basically if you had provided the data of your research at a specific platform so it will basically give you the confidence that the information you are providing to the society to the community is authentic right but on the other hand if you uh, keep uh, in uh, your own your da research data then uh, it is not a right uh, attitude towards the research one basically if you are you uh, if one basically is using uh, the approach of the open data then they basically uh, reflect the transparency of their research and uh, if someone is interested to verify that research then that time uh, the person basically can verify it uh, generate another research output by the similar data because every human beings have a different perspective and uh, if they have data they can analyze it in a different way uh, research publication can be cited facilitate uh, new research opportunities through data reuse and meet funder and publisher requirements so by this way actually you the, you can see the website data.government.in right so here at this point this is this is the link from this is screenshot is uh, i had considered here and uh, another website uh, so from here you can find out what the information required and uh, again this question in, from the indian perspective uh, because uh, we are not much familiar or we are basically limited uh, to the open scholarship we uh, generally don't talk about to the open science open data open educational resources and open uh, access journals uh, so we know uh, open access uh, keeping uh, one thing only uh, that might be a myth uh, to the um, many people that open access basically is chargeable they uh, take some charges to publish the research article but it never happens there are some models of the open access as you know as per their license and uh, pure open access journal or uh, platinum open access journal or golden open access journal are those which uh, basically don't take any article processing charges and the uh, with the uh, publish all the, all the article with the cc by licenses so here the important question is why do we hesitate to share research data on relevant platform suppose uh, i am aware about to the uh, our institutional repository which is basically handled by the librarian and i have some paper that i want put to on institutional repository uh, first thing is that our librarian is aware about to it second thing is that me ourselves is ready to do that the, uh, right so many people in starting hesitate to put uh, their idea 
of the research, uh, the uh, data of the research or the full article before publishing uh, anywhere. So still people are not ready to put their data or their research idea articles before publication on a platform. So does open data and open science are really challenges for the Indian knowledge society? Uh, nowadays actually uh, people are aware about to the Swayam, uh, ISTEM uh, type of uh, policies of the government where uh, uh, university institutions, research institutions are sharing the uh, infrastructure, the technical facilities, uh, right? So in a similar way, uh, the government basically is trying to convey the message about to the open data and open science. So in the next part, basically there are some uh, preprint archives, open access uh, purpose, and the, the business model and uh, some publishing practices. So that I will cover some uh, another day. And uh, it is important if you are getting the point uh, which I had basically discussed right now. So it would be great. And uh, if you have any question, you can ask. So this was uh, about to the uh, open scholarship. So how the Indian government basically uh, is supporting the Indian researchers and uh, how basically uh, their efforts are uh, for the knowledge society and uh, to the scientific community. So my uh, suggestion to all these scholars and uh, the academic researchers uh, uh, support to the Indian government in this respect, uh, in this uh, uh, respect and contribute without uh, expecting like this. Many times uh, 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 it would be a personal point if I will suggest at the end and you can take it in a different way. So next time I will discuss some other points. If you have a question, you can ask. And uh, if you think that this information is useful, you can share it with uh, your friends and colleagues. So thank you at this time and uh, hope uh, uh, you will put these points at a specific platform. If you have any question, you just write a comment. Uh, it would be my pleasure to give the answer of your question.